Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are talking about the anti-lag system used in the Hyundai Veloster N. So the first thing we're going to do is listen to a couple clips so you can hear what it sounds like. Basically what you're listening for is after I lift off the throttle or shift, you're going to hear a couple pops from the exhaust. That's what you're going to be listening to in these clips. Now just because a vehicle has crackles and pops coming from its exhaust does not necessarily mean it has an anti-lag system. And in fact Hyundai does not market this as an anti-lag system, they market this as a sound benefit. So what they say is that it creates an explosive sound as in race cars by retarding ignition timing. But this had me thinking because this is the same method that anti-lag systems use, some anti-lag systems. And so I had a discussion with Albert Bierman, who leads the development of performance vehicles at Hyundai, and he also has a significant history in engineering with BMW M vehicles. And when I was chatting with him, I was saying, hey, does this actually function as an anti-lag system, or is it done purely for sound? And what he was saying is that when you do put the car in N mode, and it has various different modes that you can put it in, four or five different modes, and when you put it in end mode, it is actually designed to function as an anti-lag system. And so when you're at high load, high RPM, and you let off the throttle, then you're going to have those crackles. That's going to be that exhaust trying to keep that turbo spooling. Uh, or when you upshift, you're going to hear that uh, anti-lag system functioning. And so how does this work? What's actually done within the car in order to make this work? So we're going to look at, you know, what happens in a normal mode and then what happens when you have this anti-lag system functioning. So normally you have your four strokes. You have your intake stroke, you pull in air, perhaps fuel. You have that compression stroke uh, where you push that air and fuel up together. This is going to be a direct injection engine, so you're going to inject that fuel in then during that compression stroke. And then in a normal uh, engine cycle, during the compression stroke, before that piston reaches top dead center, you're going to have that spark ignite. Uh, you know, before it gets up there, then it's going to start to build that combustion, that flame front, travel out, and then push the piston down. Now when you're using an anti-lag system, so you let off the throttle, you retard the ignition significantly, so you slow down when that ignition occurs. So instead of it occurring as that piston's on its way up, it's going to occur after that piston has already started to move down, and then you're going to ignite that air-fuel mixture, and then you're going to have combustion occur. And the reason why you do this is because by the time that that piston gets down to the bottom and the exhaust valve has opened, you still have combustion occurring, and so it goes out the exhaust, not outside of the the exhaust. I just did this to kind of show you what's going on. Uh, but you have combustion still occurring as the exhaust valve is open, and so that high pressure keeps your turbocharger spooled up. So you're having your spark ignite significantly after top dead center uh, rather than before how you would normally to create power. So what that means is you're not creating a lot of useful power, which is fine because you're letting off the throttle. You're not asking for power in that moment, you're, you're, but it would be nice to have the turbocharger still spooled up. So that's what it's doing is it's transferring. Instead of having high pressure to push that piston down, it's having high pressure to keep that turbocharger spooled up. And then once you get back on the throttle, it goes back to that normal ignition timing so that you can maintain power. Uh, so it's to, to keep high pressure in the exhaust, not to create useful power, and it mostly primarily does this when this vehicle is in end mode. So here we just have the drawing of kind of a simplified version of what this looks like. You've got your turbocharger, you're gonna be pulling in air here through the intercooler, then it comes into the combustion chamber, you have that piston moving up and down, and then of course you retard that ignition timing when you want uh, the anti-lag system to be running, which is when you let off the throttle, and when you upshift, keeps that turbocharger spools up, exits out the exhaust. Now, as I said earlier, you know, you could just do this for sound or you could do this uh, to actually function as anti-lag. So how much uh, benefit from an anti-lag standpoint you get is dependent on the ignition timing as well as how much air and fuel you put into it. So if you have, you know, the more you delay that ignition timing, the more combustion is going to be occurring inside the exhaust manifold than, you know, inside this combustion chamber before that exhaust valve opens up. So the later you have your ignition timing, the more anti-lag function you're going to have. 
And also, the more air and fuel you allow into the combustion chamber, of course, you know, that means the higher pressure you're going to have going to that turbo. So if you completely close that throttle valve uh, when you let off the throttle and you don't allow hardly any air to get in there, well, then it's going to be tough for it to have much of an anti-lag system. Um, so it's, it's going to be controlling things like that. How much air does it allow in? How much fuel does it inject? And when does it allow for that a timing to occur in order to maximize, you know, how well does this turbocharger stay spooled up? And this is primarily done in N mode. You may have some pops and things uh, in the other modes, but that's primarily just for noise. Uh, really, this is just done for the end mode when you're in that performance mode and you want to get the maximum uh, you know, performance out of the vehicle. So this is very cool that Hyundai's done this with a production vehicle. I mean, something that comes with a long warranty and they have to make sure that all of these parts can last. Uh, you know, the exhaust manifold, the turbocharger last uh, for these high pressure scenarios where they use the anti-lag system. So it's very cool that this is put in a production car which has a warranty, which passes emissions, things like that. Um, a neat system that they have developed. If you guys have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those below. Thanks for watching.